proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fellow, forced out from underground. The kid pops him good. The fella got a piece of him, though. falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. <laughs> then Kid finds his trusty shield. Security takes him for a petty thief. Clang! Shield saves his eye. Windbags start turning up for last call.
He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid Spy is a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. It wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tomb. Fast learner. The gates are too afraid to budge while security's on watch. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Birthing like crazy in a couple of court bins. Sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now.
chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. The kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. is stuck in the fall. You see that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps you running. Some assault like crazy. to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's got to put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets, but which one?
fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. The blustery old foreman is keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. There's a new marshal in town. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. Heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, he can fine-tune those instruments of his. Kids' lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. With a good length of Miska, that bow's like new again. to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Scumbag can digest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out is right where he started. 
don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. The windbags used to be alright, then the calamity took the floor out from under them. of other cores while the kid was out. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. Kid ain't had enough of the Breaker's barracks. Takes practice, and a mighty strong bow helps too.
He returns with some of the materials we need. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. <laughs> of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. Throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipping start falling in. Scores more bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Don't take kindly the into the world. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Heard it pop that needle before. At this rate, maybe five more minutes. Maybe thirty. Hard to tell. Territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. One thing's for sure that cage is awful heavy.
left. Core goes free. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Give or take a few seconds. Finally, core's within reach. And done. He's got it. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Where whiskey has no scent, but tastes like a pepper boot heel, it's not for everyone. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. The little Zolwood oil on that blade shines like a light. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Showed up to make a fast buck with nothing but a knife. The place gets awful slick sometimes. Still others use the place to test their finest blades.
Slippery little devils. Kid comes back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and right. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then, somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid for that matter. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. Security is all fired up. Travel always was an iffy proposition. Finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is, who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Kid, that core ain't coming back. No, they used to ship live munitions down the path. Find time to find them. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky when you wake them up. All 
his toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? <laughs>